to show you guys one of our favorite cookie recipes and it's a lot of fun for Quinn because he gets to add all the ingredients to our blender and turn it on. <laughs> so I measured everything out already but usually when I make these it's right from the container right into the blender. So oats go in, just room temperature butter, that is key. <laughs> Vanilla extract, so two tablespoons. The full recipe is on carrots and cake, and I'll be sure to link to it for you guys. A little bit of salt, maple. And like I said, Quinn adds all these for me, so it's a lot of fun baking with him. So you add everything in there except for the chocolate chips, which will just stir in by hand so they don't get all chopped up in here. Sometimes things get a little stuck up on the side, so I just use a spatula to mix them in a little bit more and blend again if needed. But a pretty smooth batter will come out. So once you have your batter all set, you're just going to stir in the chocolate chips. Just use a spoon, mix them around, and then your batter is done. And then just use a spoon to portion it out on to a baking sheet. So the cookie dough is ready to go in the oven. The recipe makes about 12 cookies. Pop it in the oven and you've got a delicious batch of blender cookies in no time.